As the party heals, Drone A gets to work on the armored rags. The winds of change are blowing. And the central hive king thinks now is the time. Now we can finally actually move to the center of the map, as is his namesake. We're starting to build up industry, build up production lines, so it only makes sense that we spread our wings a little bit. While this is going on, and while everyone heals up to full, I see we've got another opportunity to talk to the drone. Uh, they don't want to join. Well, you know, we got time. Honestly, I don't know what Dusty is doing training. Guess I'll, uh... Drone H, don't be a bed hog. You can go sleep in that bed. Dusty, you can sleep in the true bed. Yeah, I think... I think, honestly, like, the, the hyper vests are definitely, like... Don't get me wrong, they're important. Uh, where is Nart's? Is Nart's close enough? Yeah, I think Nart's will get this one. They're definitely important to have. Oh, the high grade. Well, the high grade's obviously going to go to ice, because ice is our most experienced warrior. That is friggin' amazing. I generally think, though, like, the rich get richer strategy is just good. When it comes to this game. Oh yeah, Zill definitely needs a vest. Uh, we should just need three sets of armored rags. I'm also building, like, three sets of rag skirts, even though I don't know if they're necessarily the greatest. When we get a shopping trip from the Western Hive, I'm gonna pay close attention to the one guy to see if pants are on the table. I mean, the rag skirt's gotta be better than no pants, right? Theoretically. I what Zil can train his strength up. As can... Drone G. I don't think I'm gonna deconstruct all the stuff in Hub. Though I do think it'd probably be, like, the wise decision. It's just not my, like, vibe, you know? Like, leaving mementos around our past exploits. Also, partially, it's just nice to have stuff in the back pocket, you know? I am buying some more stuff just to fill out the inventory. And there's not much else for us to buy other than some Gohan, which, to be honest, sounds pretty awesome to me. Just sell the remaining copper. Up to $36,000 reduce. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I'll add another armored rags to the rotation. Okay, the... Once Drone Guard B is ready, I think we can begin the trek. Uh, I want to sort of go down and around so I can go hit up the Nomad shop. Because I think that would be useful. Unless there's Nomads around here that I can just buy from. Might make sense just to wait for Nomads to come by. I'm going to want, like, a couple Garus just to bring a bunch of supplies over. I know Nomads come through Hub periodically. Maybe, um, might be worth hitting Squin. I don't know if the way stations sell the goodies that we want. Alright, surely, surely this time. They don't want to. Oh my god. Drone is on a tear. Obviously, this is going to go to ice once again. So we want that rich get richer strategy. Zill can wear this set of armored ranks. If there's one major downside to the challenge of wearing only things other hybrids wear, uh, the no helmet lifestyle is going to be really fucking <laughs> gnarly. Bro, am I just getting unlucky? How many people do I have? No, I definitely... don't have enough for a man my cab, even ignoring the mod. Or the 256 mod. Bone Dog Nomads patrolling town? They only patrol town if there's like a... 
reason to, right? I think it's just the one bone dog trolling me. Uh, you know what? Ice is free. I think Ice is going to make a quick trip to Squin. The, the two gars are not, like, negotiable. For one, uh... We definitely need the combat power. For sure. Even, like, even dog shit fucking Garus at least have something going for them with the massive AoE and stuff. And, you know, Hivers have Garus, so it's actually, like, completely within bounds. Oh, hold on. Follow me! Come on, goats. Come on, goats. Is that a band of hungry bandits? Honestly, if they try to fuck with me, the goats will destroy them. This is actually extremely fortuitous. This is going to be pretty much all the leather and meat that I'm going to need for a long time. Not that we're gonna need the extra leather, because they're gonna get the, uh, river raptors trolling us. But extra meat leather's definitely not bad. Chop them up. Where's the rest of the guards? They're just not coming? Come on, bros. There we go. Oh my god. The Hungry Bandits are still chasing me, too. I'm gonna go... You want to find these goats before they get back up? Oh. Alright, so is there nomads here? I guess I'll check the taverns. Oh my god. What the hell's that guard doing? No, there's just a bunch of... Bunch of drifters. Honestly, I probably should buy a bunch of food for the road. I mean, I've got food. I've got like 10 million Gohans. I'll check the, the armor station. So, they do have some high-grade rags. Which cost 7,000 piece. Which is kind of crazy. Don't think I want that. They're not going to have any pull arms for sale. Honestly, it's a huge niche in the market that we're going to be able to take advantage of. Okay, do you have anything good? Good, sir? Four hemp. I'll take it. Nine fabric. That actually is big. I'll take the books as well. And uh, I don't think I need the electronics components. I think I'm gonna go buy other other books from the other merchant. Just to top myself off. And uh Yeah, some meds. It'd be nice to buy a camp bed, but we just simply don't have space for it. Ice is actually a little bit encumbered. Which, uh, you know, is to be expected. I think Ice is still pretty fast, considering he's a hyper. Meanwhile, Zill. Please talk to this good sir in the cage. He doesn't want to work for us. We have returned back to home base. With goodies in tow. I'm just going to put these leathers in here for now. Put the fabric in the fabric chest. The hemp can go into the big chest. And last but not least, the books can go into the research bench. Oh, and the medicine can go into the chest. Honestly, I'll get a replenish. Ices for state kit. So, is there any research left? Oh, yeah. 
there is for sure and we're pretty close to just being full don't know if I really care about the rum brewing. We're not going to be able to benefit from it, maybe, unless the, the burning forest has it. Let's see, how much does it take? Six books? I think I'll say no to that. We'll keep these books for any, like, the rice wheat farming and stuff. Honestly, I think all the soldier drones are going to have the thief backpacks, just so that we can, like, train them up quicker, passively, you know? Like it just makes sense. The tiny ones, honestly, are just as good as the as not having one, basically. So I don't know if I need to go crazy with that. I mean, I'll put them on. Why not? The soldier drones are also the strong drones. Or oh my god! Thank goodness. Welcome to the squad, Drone K. Probably gonna be. The last of the worker drones. I'm gonna make you tall. Give me the tall worker drone. Can obviously, go into the home drone squad. You may re equip your staff. It's a pretty dog shit one. Don't think it was even original yours. And, uh, you can go iron mining for now. Have fun. Well, everyone in the home squad is fit. Has been repaired. So, I guess... It's time. Time to uh, pack up everything. Get ready to go. Okay, so do we even have 10 hemp? We have exactly 10 hemp. You know what I'll do, actually? I think Ice and Dusty are going to go on a little trip. A odd combo. But honestly, probably the most suited combo for what we are about to do. I'm going to go and just get a Garu. Two Garus. You know, one for each of them. Dusty has enough strength, the Ice has enough strength, where they'll be able to pick them up. And then we'll just run back and then hack everything in the Garus that we need for our home trip. Our home shifting trip. It's a little bit of extra travel time, but it preserves my massive trash pile. I honestly imagine there might be a little bit of trepidation between Dusty and Ice as they go on their trip. Of all the Hivers in the entire uh, Hive, these two are the most capable of striking it out on their own. As they travel all the way over, it's definitely a bit of ruminating on their chances of survival the new base. Is it too early? Oh, there's just a nomad right over here. Can I just talk to this guy? Just goats? Okay. Do they all just sell goats? Yeah, they just got goats. Look, the settled nomads were just right over here. It would be funny to do the animal backpack mod, but... Yeah, no. We, the Garus are, like, on the menu. Uh, we are gonna have to wait around for the store to be open. Maybe? Hold on. Dusty smells an unlocked door. Oh my god. They are just willing to sell me this shit right now. Alright, well, I've got a ton of money. They have exactly two Garus. So I will buy both of them. And uh, they will just uh, be named Garu 1 and Garu 2 for now. Uh, they are backpackless. Alright, Garu 1. 
Garu 2. There we go. Lovely. It's kind of unfortunate that the Garu backpacks just are like beacons in the night. Honestly, we might as well hit the way station uh, on our way back. Are we seriously that low on cats? Could have swore that we were uh, rich as hell. I guess cars are just really expensive. Let's save real quick, just in case I crash only. All right, so Gari one, boom, boom, also boom. I'll take the wheat straw city as well. Is there anything else we need? I would take a little copper, but we definitely have the copper. Maybe steel bars. Awesome. We're running extremely low on cats, but I wanna wanna check for camp beds or something. Wooden backpacks, you know. I'll take a couple of raw meats as well, dried meats. It's for the road. Wait, there's a there's a worker drone drifter over here. Do I want another one? I mean. Honestly, I don't really, because I'm so friggin' jam-packed already. Maybe hire mercenaries while I'm here, just for the road. How much would it be? 2,000 per day? Uh, how's stuff going at home? I have someone who's just doing nothing. Zill. Their copper we can sell. Alright, this guy's got all his money back. There's a shit ton of copper to sell. Okay, we got 12k. I will restock a little bit more in building materials and iron plates for the journey ahead. Uh, honestly, the grain fruits are huge too. Is there any other? Is there rice weed? It's not rice weed. That's fine. I'm not mad. You're mad. It's another pull arm, but honestly, we can begin making those on our own. Okay. What did I want this money for? Oh, it's the mercenaries, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna hire them in hub. Makes more sense to do so there. That way, we'll be able to get off our feet in case there is the Blood Spider City, you know? Oh my god. Random Bone Dog Patrol. Okay, awesome. We are here. Back at home. So, Garu 1. Might as well. Stock up, take all the meat, and the leather, and the food, green fruit. We're just going to split everything between the two of them. So it doesn't really matter. Garu 2. Nice empty inventory. Uh, Drone eye, take this backpack. There we go. Alright, Garu 2. Shall take the more dried meat. And hemp and green fruit is city. Raw meat and leather. Very cool. Uh, I'll ignore the total junk. You're also going to want to take all these iron plates, all these building materials, all the leather. So we're going to want that. All the fabrics. All the armor plating, because why not, right? Very cool. I just noticed we had a whole inventory worth of armor. So I'm going to just randomly uh, put it on our dudes. Hopefully not slowing them down too much. Pretty sure all my soldier drones have... Uh, at least some level of strength, though. 
Yeah. We actually have one extra set. Let's see, drone A. Uh, honestly, I don't know if he's even strong enough to wear the armor he's got. So... Yeah, he's going to be going armorless for the most part. To have anyone with at all decent strength. Ray's got nine. You can wear rags. Uh, you're out of range. Uh, honestly, we need to gather up everyone anyways. We're going to move everyone to the away drone squad. Uh, even though it's going to completely fuck up our uh, squatting. You know, I think it is just very important. So it'll keep everyone like moving at the same rate. Oh, you know what? Guards who can uh, hold on to the spare books. There we go. And I think on this note, we're going to end the episode here. It's a little bit early, but I imagine the trip is going to be at least mildly eventful, right? We have prepped for our journey, our journey south. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Kenshi. Goodbye!